everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hello to anyone who's new here. My name's Claire, I'm the founder of The Jungle Haven and I started this channel to bring you houseplant related videos of things that I've learnt, discovered, invented over the years. Firstly, thank you to those of you that have got involved with our giveaway competition so far. It is still running, so if you want to be in with the chance of winning these prizes, then I will link above the video where you can get all the details of how to enter and I'll pop it in the description box below as well. I did actually plan this video to be a whole load of houseplant kind of DIY tutorials, but I have a feeling that this is probably going to take a bit longer than I'm anticipating, so I've decided to spread them out over several different videos because otherwise this video would go on for hours and hours and it would be slightly tedious for you and for me. So this week's video is a tutorial on how to make a basket style planter like this one. Yeah! It might not be the most conventional way of doing it, but it's how I like to do it. And so I thought I would share it with you because they're not usually the cheapest things to buy. If you fancy getting creative and saving yourself some money, then why not? So what you will need to make your basket planter, some thick, I think it, I think it's called jute string. You can use something thinner, but it's gonna take way longer and be a lot more fiddly. I actually got this, weirdly enough, from a restaurant. They had loads of them lined up on the windowsill and I really liked it and I asked if I could buy it. And so I think I got this for about four pounds, but you can buy it everywhere. You can buy it on Etsy, you can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it anywhere. You will also need a pair of scissors, some sort of strong glue. I'm gonna use a glue gun, but any sort of strong glue will do. A piece of cardboard. This is gonna be the base of the basket, so make sure you choose a bit of cardboard that is roughly the size of the base you want. The cardboard is technically optional, but if you want it to sit fairly flat and have a more kind of consistent shape, then I would recommend using it. If you do use the cardboard, you're just gonna need something that you can draw around to get the circle, which will be your base. I'm using a candle, but you can use a compass, ideally, if you've got one, but otherwise a plate, a bowl, a cup, anything that's a circle and a pen or pencil to mark that with. Again, this is optional, but if you want to add some kind of detail, like tassely bits like I've got on this one, then you will just need some bog standard string. And that's it. I'm gonna to attempt to film this from two angles so that you can see more clearly what I'm doing. I've currently got my laptop up there on a music stand, so we will see how this goes. So let's jump into it. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. I can't pull that one. Let's get creative. Let's make a basket. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your piece of cardboard and your object that you're going to draw around or compass and just pop it in the middle and draw around it so that you've got a circle. And then you're just going to cut it out. This is easier if you've used a compass because you'll actually be able to see where the middle is. But if you haven't, that's fine. Just take your pen and just mark a dot roughly where the middle is. And now you're gonna take your string or duped rope and just make a little loop like that and stick it together. That's gonna to be the middle point. and then you're gonna stick that middle point to the middle of your cardboard circle. I forgot to say as well, I haven't cut the string at all. It's still attached to the ball. So I'm just gonna work with it off the ball. And now we're just gonna continue to glue and wind the string round like this. and just keep doing that until you've reached the outer circle of the cardboard. So when you reach the edge, it should look like that. So almost like a little coaster. And so now you're gonna essentially continue to do the exact same thing, but instead of building it outwards on the cardboard, you're gonna build it up on the rope to kind of form the walls of your basket. And when you 
start to get to the top of where you think you want your basket to be. So if you're doing one kind of my size, maybe about that much from the top, you can actually start to work the string inwards so that it's got a bit of shape to it. So you'll just put your glue slightly further in so that the shape will bend in a little bit more. And once you set a height and shape that you're happy with, you can go ahead and cut your string. And so it should be looking like this. My camera just stopped recording and I had no idea. So what I have done, which I will show you via that, I'm just making some little handles for it. So now it should be looking like this. And you can just leave it as it is. I've got a couple that I've done that I've kind of painted to the bottom half because I quite like that kind of dip dyed basket look. But with this one, I'm gonna add some tassely bits. So I'm gonna take my string and I'm just gonna measure the circumference of my basket pot with the string. And then I'm gonna allow, again, for this size, but it's kind of relative to whatever you're working on size wise I'm gonna allow probably an extra just over an inch so I'm gonna cut it just there I'm just gonna put my basket to one side for the moment the easiest way to do this is actually if you glue the ends of your string just temporarily to a bit of cardboard or something like that just so that they're held in place while you're working it just makes it a lot easier I'm changing scissors because those ones are not good at cutting string. So now I'm gonna just cut little pieces of string. I'm gonna do mine about that, but at the end of the day, it's better to have them too long than too short because you can always trim them afterwards. And I'm just gonna make it into a loop and put that loop under this and then thread it through like that. And as I say, at the moment, the length of that doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna do that all the way around until I get to here. So once that's done, you can just cut your fringe, or whatever you're gonna call it, away from the cardboard. And just double check that it's gonna fit around your basket. I've left a bit of extra room and I'm actually thinking for this one, I quite like the look of it around the middle instead of the top. So I think I'm gonna go with that, but the choice is yours. Once you're happy with its positioning, you can just go ahead and glue the ends together. If you've left enough string to be able to tie them together, then that is even better. And once that's dried, you can just move your fringe round to where you want it to be on your pots. You don't have to do this, but I just want to make sure that it stays in place. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue to hold it. Once you've done that, you can just trim the edges of your string so that it all meets nicely at the bottom.
and you are done. Your very own little DIY bohemian plant planter. Plant planter? Basket, that's the word, basket. I really hope this video was useful. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing lots more of these sort of things if you want to see them. So let me know in the comments if you do. If you do decide to give this a go, I would absolutely love to see your plant baskets. So make sure to tag us on social media, Instagram at The Jungle Haven, Facebook, The Jungle Haven. Have a lovely week, everyone. And I will be bringing you lots more plant videos soon.